Investigators say that the shooting suspect had a long-standing grudge against the newspaper. Jared Ramos sued after the Capital Gazette reported accurately on his guilty plea to charges of harassing a woman that he went to high school with. Now we're hearing from the attorney who represented the woman that Ramos harassed. He was as angry an individual as I have ever seen. Attorney Brennan McCarthy said Jared Ramos tormented his client for years. She lost her job because of and him. And she lost her job because of this individual. He is malevolent. He forwarded a letter to her employer uh, basically stating that she was uh, bipolar and a drunkard, which is ridiculous. McCarthy says the harassment and stalking began around 2009 after they became friends on Facebook. In 2011, she took him to court where he pleaded guilty to criminal harassment and was placed on 18 months probation. Five days later, the Capitol Gazette wrote a story titled, Jared Wants to Be Your Friend. It outlined Ramos's alleged erratic behavior, including emails he allegedly sent telling McCarthy's client, go hang yourself, you're going to need a restraining order now, and you can't make me stop. Mr. Ramos was obsessively angry about this particular story. Ramos sued the paper for defamation in 2012. The case was dismissed in 2015 on appeal. According to court documents, the judge said there is nothing to prove anything that was published was in fact false. I, for one, received uh, what I considered to be a death threat. Tom Marquardt was the Capitol's executive editor at the time of the article. He said he went to police about Ramos's threat, but was told nothing could be done. I feared for my life. I feared for my family's life. And I feared for my staff's life. A Twitter page believed to belong to Ramos has hundreds of angry tweets going back to 2011 about his case, the paper, and even McCarthy. Ramos's most recent tweet, just hours before the shooting, was directed at the judge who dismissed his defamation case. He wanted to get revenge. McCarthy said on Thursday when he heard about the shooting at the Capitol newspaper, he immediately thought of Ramos. It was inevitable. He was going to do something violent. The only question was who would he get first?